hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so now on the note let's start this video so before getting into that i want to uh, tell you that i am preparing the course of introduction to iot 4.0 course guys so practice mcq videos i am going to prepare so you can get nearly 100 to 150 practice mcqs guys completely based on nptl syllabus no outside nonsense is involved completely purely nptl syllabus and specially designed for you you guys so you can get as a student offer for just 89 rupees only i will make the videos in maybe two to four parts according to the content guys you can get just for 89 rupees actually many people who are watching this are students right so as a student offer we are giving for 89 guys so you can get nearly 100 to 150 practice mcqs and no one in this youtube channel no youtube channel is providing guys only our channel is specially providing for nptl students completely nptl oriented very useful for you guys in the preparation for the final exam if it is your semester subject please make your friends and classmates also join in this i will give the link in the description share that link within your whatsapp and telegram groups guys make everyone join in this so i will show you how to join go to our channel page or you can directly click link i will provide in the description so click on that and beside the subscribe button there is join button so click on this join button you will get three packs 59 89 and 119 the benefit of 119 is if i upload any live videos you can get access to that only when you select 119 and the other benefit is all these remaining packs will come under 119 itself that means if you select 119 if you buy the 119 pack you can get benefits of both the remaining packs it is all in one pack guys i will recommend you this pack but if you want only recorded videos just click on 89 pack and click on join and make payment that's it you will become members of our channel and you get access to not only single course guys you can get all the courses i upload within that 89 rupees only no extra cost that 89 is for all the combined courses not only for single course so it will be very helpful for you guys and already many people have joined these are the top eight members hope i will see you in this list actually many people are joined i cannot show you all in this page so hope you take good decision and join in this if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section so i have been providing most accurate answers from week one so with that trust you can join in this guys so first make the payment try to make the payment through your mobile phone guys if it doesn't work then only go to laptop or pc so now let's see the solutions so this is week 9 assignment of iot 4.0 and industrial iot so let's see the first question guys i hope every solution is 100 percent correct but uh, if you want to make me any suggestion you can do that if i get any update also i will mention in the comment section itself so before final submission once again check the comment section guys so first one what are the advantages of using fog computing in iiot so for first question the correct answer is you can see the consistent release of data from sensors and machines need for immediate action and quick response and data may be critical as well as time sensitive all these are correct guys so the answer is option d all of the above now let's move on to the second question Second one, organize the elements of fog computing architecture in ascending order of data processing delay. Guys, for this I am not 100% sure, but I think most probably option A is the correct answer. Industrial end devices, next fog devices and next cloud. So actually the architecture will be cloud and next it will be fog devices. And next it will be industrial endpoints, end devices. So I think first IED, industrial end devices and next fog and next cloud will be the probable answer guys. I am not 100% sure for this question. If you, if you know that exactly you can please confirm in the comment section. But I think most probably A will be the probable answer guys. Next one. Which of the following is or are the characteristics of fog enabled IAOT? So what are the characteristics? So for third question, the correct answer is option A, real time monitoring and visualization. 
only this one is the correct answer guys <coughs> next one what are the advantages of using fog based architecture in the smart grid and power industry so for fourth question dynamic demand of appliances bidirectional communication and advanced metering inference all these are correct answers guys that means option d all of the above is the answer now let's move on to the next question <coughs> Fifth one, select the advantages of fog-based architecture in the oil and gas industry. So for fifth question, the answer is offering real-time advanced operation, detection of unusual events, step-by-step -step automation. All these three are correct answers. That means option D, all of the above is the correct option. Now let's move on to the sixth question, guys. The next one. Sixth question. Which of the following data type is used in the R programming language? So we know that in some other, uh, similar to some other programming uh, languages, there will not be string, double float, etc. So the in the given options, the correct answer is option A, logical data type is existing that are programming <coughs> within the given options now let's move on to the seventh question which of the following option is correct so for seventh question option b r part means regression tree etc so it is the correct option guys <coughs> Now let's move on to the eighth one. Eighth question. <coughs> why is Julia programming used? So why it is used? It is open source. It is distributed communication and parallelism possible in it and support efficiently Unicode. So all these are correct. Option D, all, above, all of the above is the correct option. Now let's move on to the ninth question. Which of the following options is or are valid for the Julia programming language? <coughs> so for ninth question, first option use print and print is used for print and variables can be assigned without, without defining the type and assigning strings. All these are correct. So option D, all of the above is the correct option. Now, tenth one, select the correct cloud computing service model. <coughs> so, for tenth question, the correct answer is option A, infrastructure as a service. Now, let's move on to the eleventh question. Which of the following properties is or are valid for a data center network? So for 11th question, the correct answer is stable, secure and reliable. All these are correct. So mark option D, all of the above as the correct option. Now let's move on to the 12th question. What is SDN? So for 12th question, the correct answer is option D, all of the above. Next, moving on to the 13th one. Which of the following aspects is or are true for SDN? And for 13th question also, the answer is all of the above, option D. Now let's move on to the 14th one, 14th question. So guys, before getting into that, I want to once again remind you. So I'm going to prepare this course IOT 
and you can get nearly 100 to 150 practice MCQs guys completely NPTEL based lectures so no outside syllabus no one in the YouTube is providing guys please uh, remember that only we are uh, providing and it is not content guys it convert content is converted into exam oriented MCQs so that means very much helpful for you and a lot of hard work is involved in that so we are, but we are giving for just 89 rupees guys very cheap price so just 89 rupees you are getting this one 100 to 150 practice MCQs no one is providing guys only our channel is providing please suggest and recommend and make your classmates to join in this it may be your semester subject and it will be very important for your credits so join in this guys and make everyone join in this so that i can get better encouragement to do the next part of the videos with better content so it is specially designed for you only guys and no one is providing this so keep that in mind and we hope you do that and use this opportunity because without even 100 rupees we cannot even step out of the house if these days right so but we are providing for just 89 rupees that means not not even 90 rupees you are how you are charging so it is very cheap price guys you know that so hope you do this and join in the mcq course it will be very helpful for you guys in the preparation of final exam so now let's move on to the solution so back once again so 14th question select the correct applications of sdn for 14th question also option d all of the above is the correct answer guys so mark option d let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 15th one the mining industry uses dash to load or unload mining materials so guys it is not given in the lectures i think so for 15th question i am not 100 percent sure but what i have got through my search results is option a conveyor belt is the probable answer guys so i am not 100 percent sure because it is not given in lectures i think so conveyor belt is the generally used to load or unload mining materials so i know that so option a is the probable answer for 15th question so that's it guys for this assignment this week so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends also guys and please share the link that i have given in the description in your whatsapp or telegram group groups and make every one of your classmates join in this guys it will be very beneficial for all of you so the the help you can do for your classmates is by sharing this link and making them join only possible so hope you do that guys it is very useful of offer guys don't miss this because 89 rupees is not a big price with it is very very small price you can easily afford that already many people have joined in this so hope you will be one of that member so that's it guys for this video so until the next video goodbye keep supporting us like this so that's it guys goodbye thank you